up guys? Today we're working on 2013 Land Rover Evoque vehicle has a radiator fan stuck on on any condition. Key up condition, fan still run, cold condition still run, the engine hot still run, key on still run, key on engine run still run, never stop. I got a call from the customer and uh, on the phone and he told me my vehicle was the uh, fan why stay on. Talk to him a little bit and then I told him okay, they connect the battery and drive it to me and I will check see what's going on then after that he called me again he said hey you told me to connect the battery and how I drive to you he said oh sorry about that okay now drive it to me before the battery completely dropped and completely empty you can see right now the key of everything quiet why? Let go under the hood and I will show you there something and the vehicle here I did and then fan right now it won't run in anymore. As you can see down there this is the radio the fan control module. As you can see one connector here. I already disconnected that's why the fan stay off and underneath the nozzle and as you can see two connector right there I know that the connector go to uh, one and go for each pan fan and so now as you can see the fan stay on the vehicle came from yesterday until now uh, in the afternoon today I will put this in for you guys see Okay, you guys can hear in the video, the fan is, yeah, as you can see, the fan is, yep, spinning there, right there. Okay, stay tuned. As you can see, the radiator fan like this, and the number 5 here, this is the con uh, fan radiator fan control module as you can see two connectors from the bottom here the one on uh, the lap here the harness to go to uh, the big fan right here there's only two wires that mean I mean the power supply for the motor and the right connector also two wires go to the right uh, radiator fan uh, anyway the fan in the car is up right now because I did connect the connector right here. Okay, move to another pay. Yeah, the wiring diagram as you can see seem to be simple, but I don't know why the fan is stay on. As you can see here, the coolant fan control unit left side of the coolant fan assembly. And as you can see, the red color wire and go to the field number 3 ADM. This field is hot at all time. And the module is crowded to the body crowd somewhere. Okay. And the pu purple wire, as you can see, it controlled by the engine control module and right now we don't really know why that the fan stay on I don't know maybe engine control module control the radiator fan is turn on all the time or something happened in here or something happened in the engine control module or the engine control module see something like uh, engine coolant temperature sensor something like that and uh, we'll control the radiator fan on first thing I would like to do read the fault code and see what the fault code say and also read the data on the purple wire here to see what we see the computer does in the case the key on right now guys with the con uh, scanner hook up here I will go to uh, system selection engine control module and read the full code as you can see we have 0480 
fan one control circuit let's say right here pendant I don't know what pendant well, I would like to go for the data spin okay here I can uh, select on electric fan okay the poison uh, okay as you can see the computer command is zero percent now let's uh, leave the key on we go into the car and put the connector back in and see it run or not okay guys we're here under the hood with the scan tool as you can see it's still zero percent I mean computer doesn't control the duty cycle for the fan running at all okay let me push the connector back I'm okay. <laughs> okay, guys. As you can see, on the connector, we have three wire. Two uh, that uh, red wire heavy gauge and the black wire heavy gauge for the power supply to the module. And you can see, like on the wiring diagram, say this purple wire control to this cycle for the fan okay now I would like to do okay put the yeah put the, the connector out stay away from the fan and then I will use the jump cable I will jump the ground and jump the power to the connector to see the fan is running or not what this I want to do because I don't want the purple wire connected to the module okay guys I have two jump cable to the module connector right there make sure they don't tuck it over yeah the black wire for the negative and I connect to the wire go to the negative battery and the red wire I connect to the wire and waiting for right there so now I try to put on the positive to the module and then complete circuit to see it run or not see as you can see Done right now. Okay, guys, that's it. Yeah. yeah, quick test right now. The module, radiator fan module, no connected at all. No connection to the control module, engine control module, because I leave the connector out here. I just jump the power to the fan control module like you can see again put it in you can hear in the video the fan is running right yep that's it guys okay guys like we done the test right here quick test when you guys are uh, same model problem like this the fans suck on I don't know common problem on this model or not just go ahead and disconnect this wire and jump the power to direct to the fan control module and you may have the answer okay again I can use the test light and test on the two power terminal and you can see what we're talking about here like the wiring diagram say this ADM fuel hot at all time 
and right now I have the test light hooked to my battery negative and as you can see I will touch on the red color uh, you can see red color on this side right there let me yes yeah the red color on here and as you see this this lock will be power all the time all at all time man so I use a tad light here yeah as you can see my tad light is light up I don't know if you guys see in the video yeah yeah you see the tad light light up so now I move my tad light to the main the positive battery okay and I touch on the another domain of the black wire yeah my tab light also light up the same thing like the wiring diagram saying this is hot as all time and crowded the module crowded to the body frame body ground and this wire hot as all time and wait until the computer gets some information from the sensor like uh, AC turn on or the engine coolant temperature sensor and control the fan control the cycle duty on the proper wire here now we don't really need how to tap the the signal on this pop of wire at all okay that's it guys quick test on this video when you have the same problem you go ahead and disconnect this uh, connector and jump direct it only power and ground to the model if the fan running what that mean that mean you got a bad radiator fan control module we need to replace anyway all right guys thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye